What's up, everybody? My name is Shannon, and I am still waiting for my Seder, and today we are talking about Someday, Someday, Maybe by Lauren Graham. So a couple of weeks ago, I read Lauren Graham's autobiography, Talking As Fast As I Can, and I really enjoyed that. Like, I'm a huge Gilmore Girls fan. I really like Lauren Graham just in general, so I liked reading her book and kind of learning about her life and her time with Gilmore Girls, and she does give a lot of really good advice in that book, and she also talks about her fiction book that she writes, Someday, Someday, Maybe, and a lot of people were telling her that it resembled her life or that it seemed like she was writing about herself, and I really wanted to, like, give it a shot and just see what it was all about. So Someday, Someday, Maybe focuses on a girl named Fanny, and she is trying really hard to become an actress. She moves to New York, she's doing Doing everything possible to just make her dream come true, but it's just not quite happening. She's a waitress at a comedy club, she's going to acting classes, she maybe gets like the occasional weird commercial here and there, but her dream just isn't going where she wants it to go. She set this deadline for herself, it's coming up really quick, she doesn't really know what to do, and it's kind of just the story of her figuring things out, kind of figuring life out, and I really enjoyed it. I felt like if you pair it with talking as fast as I can and all of the advice that Lauren Graham gives there, you really get this full, complete picture of what it's like when you're trying to become an actress. Like, you go in with all of these stereotypes and all of these thoughts of what you're supposed to be and how you're supposed to do things and how things are supposed to work out, and then when it doesn't, and then you see all of these other people, like, what's working for them, so it's like, okay, okay, well, they must have the secret. They must know something that I don't know. Like, why is it working for them, but not for me? Like, I don't understand what's going on here. And you really see how Fanny, like, figures this stuff out and internalizes it and, like, what direction her life is going to go in. And above all, you learn to really keep your eyes on your own paper. Like, things may be working out for other people, but you don't really know what's going on with them. They could be going through something insane. They're at different places in their life than you are. You should never hold yourself to their standard. And when you're in an industry, especially becoming an actress, that's something that's very hard to do. I found the story really relatable to even just like any aspect of life though. Like I'm not trying to become an actress or break into that field, but just hearing a lot of the stuff that Lauren Graham had to say and her thoughts on the matter about, you know, like, funnier, louder, faster, like it just really made a lot of sense and I really enjoyed that. And it's all done with that Lauren Graham flair and it's witty and it's funny and if you listen to the audiobook it's actually read by Lauren Graham as well which just makes it a lot of fun. Now with all of that being said this isn't the best book in the world. It is pretty generic, it's pretty run-of-the-mill, there's nothing spectacular or new within the story. I would say like even the themes and the messages aren't necessarily anything new but I feel like Lauren Graham has something specific that she's trying to get you to understand. And if you read both of her books, then you really get the feel for it. And then it really feels like something special. But you do kind of have to have both of them in tandem. I mean, that might not be true because I, you know, read one before the other. But I just feel like that's what kind of makes it make sense. That's what makes it have a lot more meaning. I feel like if you went into this book and you weren't a Gilmore Girls fan or you didn't know who Lauren Graham was, then it's just not going to have as much weight. It's just going to be another run-of-the-mill contemporary book. Girl wants to be an actress. Girl's failing at being an actress. Girl figures out, like, life and all of this kind of stuff. Like, nothing new super happens. Like, you can see the ending from a mile away. But, like I said, it is really relatable and it's pretty funny. It's charming. And I think it's a really fun read. So, I am giving this book a C plus and I I would recommend checking it out, but I would recommend also picking up Lauren Graham's other book as well, just to kind of get the full picture. I feel like that really helps everything make sense and it makes it have just a lot more meaning to it. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to hit that like button down below and don't forget to subscribe so you can talk books with me every week. That is everything I got for you today and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!